Dave, Linda, Gordon, and Diane on their way to Puerto Vallarta for our annual Christmas um, children's program. There's Diane by an ice cream cone. A lot of ice cream on that ship. And then, of course, even when we're underway, the women have to do their shopping. So there they are shopping. After dinner, we uh, played cards. And here we are walking the deck. Uh, three times around this deck is a mile. And so we walk several miles a day to walk off all that delicious food that we're eating. Here we are, second night out, formal night, going to the formal night dinner. And after the wonderful dinner that we had, we went out dancing. They had some people on here called the Vintage People that played 50s, 60s, and 70s music. They were a fantastic band and worked off a few more calories here. Here I am shaking a, a leg with my beautiful lady. And this is our room, E419. I had really nice rooms on there. This is the, the day before we got to Puerto Vallarta. They put on a um, all-you-can-eat buffet, Spanish buffet for it. It's just beautiful the way they do um, food up on this ship. This is that Verizon Court, one of our uh, favorite places to go. This is one of those sound weapons. This is one of the way that they protect the boats now. Um, it actually puts out a sound that blasts people to such a degree that they can't even come near the boat. Here we are. Um, we're at the mission field now. Um, as you know, some of you don't know, but uh, the mission, the, they closed the dump down, so we had to move from the dump, which means we lost the building and everything. And this is going to be the new building site. We're walking by the new building site. They actually had to move about five miles up the road further, um, which really means uh, th they're in a different area. It's a poorer area. There's more kids in the area though and it's just a beautiful place so uh, we just are excited about uh, starting the new works here with them uh, that's pastor Luis just showing us his plan there's the creek where the kids swim on hot days and now we're looking back kind of towards the the little village here uh, this is the playground it's a better playground than was at the uh, dump I mean that equipment is at least something else and here's our new church underneath these beautiful trees this is where we um, did our program with the children it's it's their the new area uh, here's the children uh, at first we get the older children's the one from um, seven to about 13 um, the young children are at school now and the older children will go to school um, in the afternoon so we're doing them this store next door let's just use that back part for storage so we can store the things that we uh, we use there here we are getting set up with the children to do their craft projects uh, we brought uh, like a color nativity thing to color and then um, stickers and stuff to put on them the kids just love working with crafts there's a, our interpreter um, she interpreted for us Claudia while she was there and here the kids are starting on their project now you can see that they have that uh, community crayon box there one of the things that Diane and I did is we bought uh, boxes of 24 crayons uh, to a box and we bought uh, enough crayons to give every single kid there their own box of crayons and it was uh, really special to see the look on their face when they got their own box of crayons. Here's a little girl that's showing me how she's progressing on her work and they're just really excited to do that. Here's a finished one now. Got all the stickers and everything on it. It just really looks good and here we are. A couple more kids coming up. Uh, Linda and Diane and I checking out that work now I'm handing out pens staples gave us pens to give out to all the kids and the kids just love those pens the first thing they did is uh, wrote their names on the paper and on their crayon box that uh, the box of crayons that they got and then Dennis had given us a toothpaste to give the kids and they wrote their names on their toothpaste box you can see it there and there's more kids finishing up their project there's a little girl with her toothpaste her crayons her pen and her paper how cute can you be look at that proud of their work there's pastor Luis and there's some kids all finished with their work proud to display it cute little girl now these beanie babies were really neat uh, we had sold the house to some people who had moved uh, to a, a retirement home and they sold us all these beanie babies uh, 
and we took these Beanie Babies down. They were collectors of Beanie Babies, and we had Beanie Babies to give out to the kids, and they just loved these things, and they were every one of them were different because these are collectors series Beanie Babies. They sold them all to me for um, 50 bucks, and I, you know, I know these are collectors of Beanies, so they're quite expensive, and I was really blessed of, of the Lord to get these. And that, look at this little boy here. That's a uh, an army beanie baby, a G.I. Joe beanie baby. Now we're doing a candy cane story. We do the story about the candy cane and how it relates to the blood of Jesus Christ and that. And uh, Diane's doing the story. Louise is uh, translating. And Linda and I were handing the candy canes out to everybody. There's Dave. We had to get him in the picture. Dave is our photographer and does a wonderful job. But the problem is he doesn't get any pictures so I took the camera over for a few minutes and let uh, Dave get in there uh, he's really great with the kids too great photographer and great with the kids too and big help um, I just can't imagine doing this without Dave and Linda and now we're getting ready the big kids are finishing up all their stuff and here's the little kids now we're starting our afternoon program same program again only now um, we're working with the younger children uh, one of our big problems is we started counting the heads here, and uh, gee, um, we brought for a hundred kids, and by the time we counted all these kids out, we had about a hundred and thirty kids. So we know we didn't have enough supplies for all the kids, and so we just started praying to God, God, you have to multiply our stuff. Remember the fishes, remember the lo loaves. Nobody went away without anything, and just please. And so we actually we lined kids up and. Uh, and started passing out and you know what we ran out when the last kid came through so we saw a miracle happen there um, just getting all of uh, every kid got something every child here we are again you know we're just working there's Lapita that's the pastor's wife and that's, we gave her one of those bags and to pass stuff out and it just uh, it it made it through as I said before and here they are with their beanie babies and um, drawings all done. We have so much fun. We're so blessed to be able to work with these um, children there. And we just, we love taking people there. We do the, uh, Dave and Linda and I, uh, and Diane usually do the Christmas program, but sometimes we take, uh, well, we've taken. Um, 40, 50 people in here with backpacks, and uh, we hope to do that again next year. Diane and I hope to be, go back again in March, because um, now it's a really exciting time that they're going to be building the new works there. Look at these kids. They're so happy. We just love working with these children. There's a place where we have them all lined up when things were starting to run out, and we just we figured, oh, that you know, that's the only way we can do it is line up the last of them uh, so that we could just show there was an empty bag and no more. But the bag never ran out. Praise God, it never ran out. And again, we thank um, sponsors that help us out on this trip too. It was really nice of uh, Staples to give us all of the. The pens and uh, dentists, uh, barbieri and, and that to give us the toothpaste and things to take into the kids. And here we are underneath the tree, um, getting ready to leave and head back to our ship. Job well done. There's the beautiful Sapphire Princess sitting there waiting to take us back home. Um, after a long day out there, Diane and Dave and Linda were going to take a swim in a hot tub. Uh, I myself, I don't like to get in chlorine water, so I went and did other things throughout the ship uh, while these guys soaked themselves. And next stop would be Mazatlan. After this, uh, we take off. Here we saying goodbye to uh, Puerto Vallarta and hello to Mazatlan. We didn't even bother getting off the ship in Mazatlan. We just stayed on the ship and had fun all day on the ship while we were at Mazatlan. And here we are leaving Mazatlan now. That's the Mariner of the Sea, which was also there. And as the two ships passed each other, the captains were talking to each other in horn blast, which was really neat. Everybody had fun with that. And all the people on both ships were taking pictures of each other. And here we are leaving the harbor. Uh, beautiful sun uh, set. 
and heading for Cabo San Lucas. Goodbye, Mazatlan. Hello, Cabo San Lucas. There's the security people taking down the weapon as we get underway. And here we are, Cabo San Lucas. Uh, the boat has to tender there. It at, at anchors out at sea, and you tender in on all these little tenders. Uh, while we were in Cabo San Lucas, we met with some uh, clients that we were working with that live in Bakersfield. Uh, we were working with on a uh, house that we have listed in Morro Bay. There they are. We met them there and uh, spent a little time with them. These are mimes. They have these really, these guys are so fantastic. Um, there he's got Diane with a hook around her neck. They paint themselves with this paint. And it's just really, really something. Here we are now. We're leaving uh, Cabo San Lucas uh, and heading for the, uh, the, it'll be two nights and a day at sea to get back to Los Angeles. And here we are again at night. We just love dancing, um, work, working off those calories with your sweetie. This is the last night, or this is formal night, not the last night. The, this is formal, the last formal night. We have one more night on the ship after this. And when we got through that night, they were putting up all the Christmas decorations. So we got on for uh, the, with all the Thanksgiving decorations. And as we're getting off, we get off with all the Christmas decorations. It was sure pretty to see the um, ship getting all of its uh, Christmas decorations up. And just there we are. Beautiful sunsets again. Uh, this is the following day. We went up to a place called Skywalker Lounge, which is the highest place on the ship. It's actually up above the ship. There's a special elevator that you have to get into that only goes this last little bit up to Skywalkers. Walkers, and it's just really neat to, to go up there and you see the whole world from up there. But it's just beautiful, beautiful uh, ship. And here we are. This is the last night at sea. Uh, they're marching through all the waiter staff with baked Alaskas. Um, and then after they had uh, come through with their baked Alaskas, they had all the cooks, 180-something cooks on that ship, um, come through. And uh, we did, just the food's fabulous. And there is the band. Um, we got to be with the band.